Welcome everybody. I'm Linda with Gotta Be Handmade. And today we have a fantastic artist joining us, Monica. Monica with Des V. Rado. Pronounce it, Monica. It's pronounced Desviado. Desviado. Everybody, let me tell you, Monica creates fun, uh, I would say funky and fascinating shoe clips. I just <laughs> love them. Hi, Monica. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> I just love your shoe clips. Oh, thanks. Yeah, they're really, really fun to make, and it's really just one of my creative outlets. I think they would be perfect for gifts, and they are great for creative people just to wear every day. I have two that's my favorite. I love the goldfish bowl, and I love the panda bears. <laughs> Yeah, they're they're a little, I guess, out of the ordinary, um, but they're very, I think they're very fun and it takes, you know, someone with a really unique sense of style to pull them off. <laughs> you won't find them, I don't think, anywhere else. Yeah, no, you won't. They are so unique. Now, I'm going to do things a little differently tonight. I usually just get right off and start asking questions, but tonight... I want to see your shoe clips. Can you show us one? Yeah. Um, let's see. Some of my most popular ones are, um, I have this hummingbird. It's actually a shoe clip. I'll hold it like this. Oh, my. Foam hummingbird. Yes. So it has feather, um, real feathers here on the edges and the little body is made out of foam. So they're very lightweight and they're very easy to just attach with a little clip. Okay, I see. Yeah. Oh, that they is do. adorable. So I made them to be worn on shoes to dress them up a little bit if you have really plain shoes on, but some people will even like pin them on clothing because you can pin, pin them on clothing as well. Okay, you can pin them on clothing using the same uh, clip? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, like I had not thought of it until someone put the clip on clothing. I'm like, oh, it looks cute too. So it could go on your shoes or on clothing. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just had to start the show with some just you showing us one of your paper clips but I, I mean one of your shoe clips but i'll get back on track now how long have you been creating them um let's see um i probably have been making them for about a year now uh before that i was making a lot of hair accessories and a bunch of other fashion accessories, but these like specific shoe clips, I started making them a year ago because I wanted to make something that's a little different. And not a lot, a lot of people are making shoe clips, especially something that's a little more unusual or funky. Yeah. That's right. Now, what materials do you often use? You showed us the hummingbird. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, I have birds, like right now I have the hummingbird and then I have these little black crows that also oh. have that. And I just started making some with flowers. So I have this with um, red roses and I think they would be really nice for a wedding or something like that. Yes. Yes. Uh, and then I have others, like you mentioned the panda bear. So you could put these on your on your shoes as well. Yeah, I so. think that is so adorable. It's and adorable. It's, and it's an actual little plush teddy bear thing. So if you think of your regular teddy bears, that's how this feels too. It's kind of. Oh, good. It's so. Yeah. Yeah. So it has cotton inside. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, do you actually make 
the uh, animals? Um, it really depends. The teddy bears, um, like I have this other one, they're found objects. Um, oh. There are some items that I make out of polymer clay. Um, I believe I have the, the only one that I have on my Etsy store is the one with a little stack of books and then there's a little worm. So <gasps> yeah, the worm is made out of polymer clay. Um, and then I have, it's really, I put together a bunch of materials. Okay. That, yeah. And every now and then I'll make the little figures from scratch. Oh, I, wow. You are so talented. I think they are wonderful. I really do. I just love them. I can see so many different occasions that you would need them for. Now, how long does it take you to make one or come up with the idea? Um, I go out to, let's see, like accessory stores and jewelry making supply stores and I go whenever I'm out and about I find objects that I all of a sudden an idea will pop up and I think oh that would look awesome in your hair or <laughs> I don't know on your shoes so uh -huh. yeah it's just um when I'm out in my daily life I'll find things and sometimes I don't even have an idea for them I'll just grab it because I know later on I'll come up with an idea for them. Um, but to make one of the shoe clips, it really depends. Some of them take a lot longer, but I would say between 30 minutes for the easiest ones and for the ones that I really have to build up and make from scratch, it might take about two hours. Yeah. To dry and yeah, to complete them. Mm -hmm. I know it's like my sister says all the time, only in the mind of a crafter. Yes, yes. <laughs> You'll come all, up with things that all a shoe clip artist such as your, yourself could come up with the items that you use to create the shoe clips. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Now, are you working on any new products, something brand new that no one else knows about yeah. to add to your collection? Oh my gosh, I am. I'm working on a few new shoe clip ideas. I believe they'll be up in my Etsy store within, um, I'd say like two weeks. But I'm also working on jewelry pieces like necklaces and brooches. So I'm working on a lot of things right now. Okay. Now tell us where we can get your products from. You mentioned your Etsy shop. Yeah. So right now I mainly sell through Etsy. Um, and my store is called Desviado. So it's D-E-S-V-I-O-D-O. -O. And you could type in desviado.etsy.com and you'll find my store. Okay, all right. Now, wh when did you say your new products will be on there? Um, I would say in within three weeks. Yeah, because there's still some things that I'm working out for some of them. <laughs> I'm making um, them a little more complicated now. <laughs> oh, my, I know they are going to be fabulous. I know they are. I am such a fan of your work. And I'm so glad you joined me. Do you have anything else you'd like to show us? Uh, let me see. I think the one shoe clip that most people are surprised about is this little sculpture. Let's see if I can see. So this oh. is my, one of my favorites, and it's a nativity scene. So yes. I have to... I had to really think hard about this one. Yeah. Oh, it is marvelous. Yeah, so when it gets closer to Christmas, maybe that would be appropriate. Yes. Now you're going to have to come back and join me again when you start selling for the holidays, September, October, when everybody's shopping for the holidays with the handmade products and bring your nativity shoe clip. Yeah, of course, that'd be awesome. <laughs> well, Monica, 
tell us again where we can purchase your things. You could purchase my shoe clips and other accessories on desviado.etsy.com. You are wonderful. You do such beautiful work. I just love them. I have never seen any shoe clips anywhere near the type that you sell. I think they are absolutely fascinating. And I am the person to wear them. I would have no problem putting them on, changing up every day and wearing them. I think they are, not only are they fun, mm -hmm. they are so unique. <laughs> Yeah, oh, we can yeah, for you. You said you wanted some with your um, logo, right? Yes, I'm looking for some butterflies where you can create some for me. Yeah, let's think about that. <laughs> yes. Well, Monica, thank you again for joining me. And everybody, thank you for joining us. And Monica, I look forward to having you with me again closer to the holidays and i wish you the very best with your business and your beautiful one of a kind unique oh. shoe clips thank you so much for having me i really appreciate it no problem everybody have a blessed evening and thank you again <laughs>